We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Break Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, I've been waiting for quite some time. Well over a year, I've been wanting to get my hands on this game. I've known about it for quite a long time. I believe it may have been the man, the myth, the legend, Craig Stern, who initially turned me on to the game. I think I might have heard of it before then, but that kind of cemented the whole situation. Anyhow, uh, from Sinister Design, he turned me on to this game. was like, hey, you probably like this. And uh, it's been on my must-play list for, well, since then. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is Heroes Hour. It's from Thing on Its Own and Goblins Publishing. It's due out on March 1st, 2022. A big shout out and thank you to Goblins Publishing for hooking me up with a code for this. All right, we're going to dive in. We are going to go through the tutorial. I know, I know folks are like, Ugh, but it's fine. I want to I want to learn everything there is to learn about the game. It looks crazy. It looks wild. I can't wait. Welcome to Heroes Hour. This tutorial will teach you the basics. You're currently looking at the adventure map, and your hero stands there in the center. To start, select your hero by clicking on them on the map. Boom! It's a lion man, I guess. Now you can move your hero around the map by pressing right-click where you want to go. Your hero can also interact with objects on the map. Go and pick up that pile of gold just to the north. Gold! Alright. Gold is the most important resource in the game. It is used to build up towns and increase the size of armies. Now make your hero go over to the campfire on the west. To the west! Why'd I stop moving? Come on, let's go. There we go. I must have double-clicked. Your hero can only move so far each day. This should look familiar to you guys in, in, in a, a fair few ways, I'm just saying. You should see some resemblances to some other stuff. Just, just you know, think about it. Your hero can only move so far each day, but the campfire that just allowed you to move four extra steps. Use them to travel northwards. As you travel, more of the map will be revealed, and you will find a sawmill with zombies protecting it. Yes, yes, I will. Ta-da! There he is, uh-huh. Now that you can move no further, you need to end your turn. You do this by clicking the button below. And in your turn, lets the enemy players take their turn, and then a new day starts. Eh? Eh? Uh, the enemies play the game much the same way you do. End turn. Ta-da! Each day your hero has their movement points refilled. You also gain resources daily from certain buildings, like the sawmill up there. The zombies are defending it, but you can attack them by moving toward them. Notice how the path turns red when approaching a fight. I do. I'd rather do it much closer and quicker, yes. Alright, before the battle starts, you can move around your regiments, which are marked with uh, by banners. You have two different units. Goblin gunners attack from a range, while gargoyles are fast melee units. Click start battle to let the battle commence. So these are zombies. They are. Oh, that's 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 pretty slick. I like that. That feels good. I'm gonna assume that the. Uh, I'm gonna assume that the uh, zombies are slow. We'll find out. I might have made a mistake. Oh no, I did make a mistake. Oh no. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, no, no, it worked out. They got through. I didn't realize it was going to split out into more units. That's great. My hero took a big old beating, though. He did not enjoy his time. But we won, I think, with minimal losses. Ah, you see the one dude was running away? That was great. Theo gained 605 experience. Now that the zombies have been defeated, you can pick up the resources. Wood is useful for constructing buildings. You should also claim the saw mill by moving your hero. To touch its gray flag. <gasps> That's fine. Um, as long as you control the sawmill, it will give you two wood for each day that passes. Hmm. Sounds very familiar. What is that? What's that little guy? Look at him. Look at him. Is it, are these our little dudes just running? What, what's going on? They're just... Ah, it's so good. All right, sorry. Uh, you lose army units in battles, so you should get reinforcements before you go into battle again. Move on to the east until you find the town. Then take control of it. You can also pick up any stray resources on your way there. Probably not a good idea to go mess with the bear. So we're going to get some gold. And this looks like a town. Or the Ivory Palace. We cannot reach... It's okay, we'll end the turn. 
Oh, we just, okay. We just took it. Towns allow you to create units to expand your army. Do this by pressing the button with a man with a pitchfork. This brings up the unit creation screen, then pay gold to create the available goblin gunners. Create max. All right. And that just maxes these guys out, I guess. Is it based off of like leadership or something? Or what, like, what are we talking here? Or can we only have so many of each groups of people? There's a lot of buildings in town that all do something different. You can mouse over to find out what they do. If you construct the tower, you will get access to the next type of soldiers. Use the option to build gargoyles or scrolls. Center of Arcane, Infirmary, Aether Forge, Art something, Guild Mages, Shaping, Gray the Workshop, the Tower. Okay, we can, uh, this dwelling will allow you to create Gargoyle or Scroll. Uh, weekly number of units is six and nine respectively. Wait, 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 a scroll is a unit? What? When this creature goes below half health, it has a chance to cast a spell. What is that? Power 4, 73 health, 9 damage, 10 speed. I mean, I'm going to go with the gargoyle, but it's cool. Create max. Okay, I guess we created max. All right. You can only construct one building per day. Eh, eh. If uh, you did get the tower, you can now create those units too. There's a weekly limit of how many units can be created of each type. Next, travel northeast and send your hero to the minor shrine. Okay, so create max is based off of probably how many units are available. Are these little carts? Oh, that's such a cool little feature. Look at it. Oh, that's great. I like it. What do they want me to do? Go to the shrine. All right, let's get to it. Every day we hustle and hustle and all right. Uh, uh, yep. Summon something. Sure. What does it do? Uh, the minor shrine taught your hero the spell named Summon Anima. When you next enter battle, you can choose the spell to more easily defeat your enemies. Casting a spell costs mana, which will slowly regenerate day by day. Now, please continue north until you find the ore mine. Attack the units. Yeah, 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 I'm all over it. I know what's going on. I've I've done this before, sort of, in other places. It seems very, very familiar for some reason. All right, so one thing, and maybe it's based off of our color, like whatever color we are. It it is a little weird having us as red, but maybe like I said, maybe it's our banner. And them as green, because you would think that that would be the opposite. But again, does it doesn't really matter? Can I really? Oh, I can't move closer to them in that regard. All right, that's cool. Uh, once battle started, you can cast skill, uh, spells by choosing them within the spell book, and then choosing where on the battlefield to cast that spell. Uh, you can, for instance, summon units on top of the enemy's ranged units. That sounds great. Let's do that. I I, I want to do that. Let's do that. All right, so we're going to go back here. Uh, wait, how, how, how do they say that we can do it? Sorry. Sorry, let's open that again. Uh, within the spell book. Where's the spell book? Well, hopefully we'll figure it out. Oh, it's right down there. All right. Oh, it is just okay. Okay, hold on. Ha! Attack! Attack my buglings! Go, Anima! Go, get them! Shoot them with pebbles and, and rocks and things. I think we're winning? I don't know. We're kind of getting our face stomped into the earth a little bit with our hero, but... We're now we're now going up against their... their, uh, their oh, gosh. Our hero just died or got knocked back or something. Is, is he gonna be all right as long as we win the battle you want to look at him look at him running okay we lost nine of our gargoyleans uh-huh sure sure 
All right, Theo is now level two. We got plus one to our might attack. Yep. Sorry, our attack. Oh okay, yeah, we got a choice of royalty or alchemy. Each time you fight, your hero gains experience points. Now your hero has reached level two. Congratulations! Kind of wish there was more of an explosion and loud noises, but I'll, I'll take it. You can choose what type of hero you want them to become by picking one of the two possible skills. Now it's over to see what each do and choose one. Decrease the resource cost of creating units in any of your towns by 20% per rank or alchemy. The hero gains ore after every battle or can be spent in the Aether Forge and town to create units or spells or other effects. The amount of ore increases with skill level. That's a tough call, man. I mean, I like the idea of True Strike. That sounds amazing. Yeah, they were to go with Alchemy. It just sounds weird and different, and I like it. Alright, let's claim that. Come on. Let's, why, why am I not... Hello? Oh, because I'm not right-clicking. Sorry. I, I didn't. There we go. We're claiming it. We're claiming this. Come down here. We're going to get some of this. You can see more information about your hero's stats and skills by double-clicking on them on the map or double-clicking on their portrait at the bottom left. Sure. Yep. Nope. That's that's fine. All over it. Each day, you should construct another building in town. Buildings are expensive, but they are the key to winning. As you construct more buildings, your town develops, giving you access to more buildings as the game progresses. Double-click your town and construct the infirmary. Alright, I saw that it was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Or was it on the left? Oh, there it is. Alright. After combat, the infirmary will save half of your dead units belonging to this faction. They will be added to the town's garrison. Only one infirmary can be active per, fa uh, per faction. But additional infirmaries of the same faction raise the percentage of saved units by 10%, up to a total of 80%. That's incredible. All right. Taking army losses can be your downfall. If you construct the infirmary in town, half of your losses in future battles will be saved and added to the town's garrison. That's nice. I like that. Do we also get medics or something? No? All right. Go explore the map with your hero. Be careful about what enemies you attack. You can usually mouse over to see their difficulty. Usually, it's best to fight moderate and easy difficulty enemies. As your hero's army grows stronger, more enemies will become easy. As they should. Do I have the control of the WAZ to keep... Oh, I absolutely do. And I thank you so much for that. Let's go fight some wolves. Or as Mutana would say, some wolves. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either. Alright, so we got some wolves over there. Oh, I can split my... F oh, that's intriguing. How do I... How do I un... Oh, no. How, how do I... How do I combine them again? Oh, no. Oh, it's shift. Oh, that's so sick. I love that. That's... That's... That's so good. All right, well, it looks like it's our, our hero heals. Maybe putting him on the front lines. All right, I don't know. Let's, let's see what we got here. Go. Brah. Rat tat bang. Oh, the wolf. No, they're getting into our ranged units. I really thought our melee guys would stop that or that they would kill enough of the units before they got to them. It was a, it was a calculated risk that did not pay off. It, it was a poorly calculated risk. We seem to have gotten annihilated. Kind of got our booty whooped. Um, I don't know if we lost anybody there. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That's not something we want to fight. What is this? Alright, we're going to head back to the town. And we're going to create a new something. Cruise the towns. Nope. There's a 
fort. Gate of Divinity. What? Allows you to create one incarnation or Jotun weekly. Oh. Requires a higher level town to build. Guild of Mages. Spells. Town portal. Okay. Create a golem or ice sculptor. <laughs> University would allow us to create an archivist, but we need a higher town level. Alright, I think I want the ice sculptor, actually. We'll create the max there, alright. Done, and let's end the turn. Uh-oh, that doesn't bode well. So we gotta upgrade the town. How does one do that? What is this? Building planner. Upgrade the shaping hall. Okay, upgrade the dwelling that allow you to... I don't... That doesn't make sense. What? That allows you to upgrade golems into automations. Alright, I clearly I missed something here. Is it just telling me what I can do or like how do I get to this next tier? Do I have to build the fort? Like there's a lot of choices here. Choose one of these units. Its weekly growth will increase as stated from next week on onwards. Okay. I guess we built the fort. Uh, I, I don't know how to upgrade the town, though. Okay. Uh, well, we know there's a... Oh, some terrifying things over there. Let's get down here. Into battle with uh, some skeletons, some skeletons as they as they are. Oh, oh, the the ranged guys are grouped up together, huh? That's interesting. I don't hate it. Do you think we can gather the gold? Go explore the map with the hero enemies. Go, okay, yeah, 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 that's fine. Are, are we sending little zombie whatever's in there, or what, what is going on? Our ice sculptors are sculpting, like, ice warriors or something. That worked out really well. I like that. That was, that was great. Alright, what do we have? Uh, the Dusk Mage's Cape, plus two to spell power. We're here for spell power. All right, we definitely don't want to do that. It's moderate. This is still impossible. There's a random fairy out in the water, a sea foam spirit. I say, can we just walk into the water? We cannot. Uh, okay, that's a bit challenging. I love the little carts moving around. That makes me so happy. Some moderate battles there. Looks like we're going to be uh, challenged for a bit here. I suppose we go take a look to the left and see what's out there. I am very worried about the guy out on his boat. Lost hero, once mighty, now dead. But there's always a silver lining, and you may be able to find something useful on the remains. Yay! I got some mercury, or I could have gotten some experience. Tomorrow, a new week starts. This makes all enemies, enemy armies stronger, but you also gain new units from towns that you have, uh, okay. Army buildings you've constructed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I know what's going on, sort of. Still don't know how to upgrade the town. If I knew that, actually it should be this building right here. That would allow me to do that. Uh, how much gold do I have? I have plenty. Requires a higher town level to build. I, 
I guess I still don't know how to build a higher town level. I mean, it has to be something to do with this. We already own this building. We can't build any of these because we don't have a high enough town building to do it. Mm. That is unfortunate. I, I guess we can build the fort. We already we already built the fort though, right? I can't build that because I don't have enough ore. I guess. And requires a higher town level. I maybe just build whatever building I can build, and the town level will go up. Sometimes that happens. Has grown to a township. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So the Grand Bazaar greatly increases the exchange rate. Oh, that's a cool little uh, thing. Enchanted wares, uh, artifacts sold, or Goblin Gunner Expert greatly increases the weekly growth of... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're going to do that one. Okay, all these different spells we should probably have learned. It's fine. All right, we're going to end our turn... Treasure chest, gold, or axe of the slayer. Oh, I think we know the answer to that one. It could have been axe of the the slightly mutated penguin, and I would have gone for it. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not I'm not necessarily you know anti penguin, but you know, you giving me the option, stuff's gonna go down. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. So can we, how do we, how do we split these guys apart? Like that. Okay, I see. Okay, I see you. And then if we hold shift, we put them together. Oh, that's so cool. I really like that. You can send your hero home to collect the new units in your town. Uh, instead, build a tavern in town and hire a hero using it. Boy. I, I don't think this has been inspired by anything else. I think this is all just an absolutely new concept and idea. All right, go, my little buglings. Go and fight and fight and go. Make them regret ever fighting you before. Wow, we just got our butts kicked. How do we do so well and then just like got murdered? Yay! I, I love the one that just runs away every time. This makes me so happy. All right, we got another level. Can we can we level this? Oh, we can. Can I unlevel that, or do I have to continue to level that? Okay. Recruits Yoden from this hero's army over time, or Thunder God, if your hero already has any in their army, at an average rate of 0.49 per week per rank. So every two weeks. Uh, and gain plus five health and damage for each rank. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, first, true strike projectiles, which strike 4x larger area and deal extra damage, scaling to the size of the enemy, starting at 2x. Also increases their range of attack by eight per rank. Base chance is 5% per... Okay, that's getting a little complicated there, but we all good. All right, let's grab this, let's grab this, and the black obelisk! It points toward buried treasure. I don't think it's very useful right now, but it's okay. It's a start. We need to go back to the town. Let's be honest. Or do we? No, we don't. We don't need to go back to the town. You guys know how this works. We need to build a tavern. We're building a tavern. We're going to hire Edzurin. Oh, I would. Oh, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe without him ever asking or, or me asking or us ever talking with one another, maybe somehow the clouds opened up and like mana from heaven, I will be one of the heroes in the game. That would be fantastic. I would be floored. I might even start crying, to be honest. That would, it would, it, that would be, that would be so cool. I have literally zero, zero hope that that's a true thing, but still that's, that's pretty sick. 
Uh, we created the max that we could. Are we using ore for these things? Wow. Every time we want to create a unit, we have to use ore for it. Wow. Everything but the basic unit. That's that's absurd and crazy, and, and I kind of like it. Uh, this hero works just like your first hero. You give the um, new units and the two heroes to meet out in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to come on over this. Why, why did I stop moving? Come on. Oh, it's so ah, so many little details. I love everything. I love it all so much. All right. Well, I'm gonna go here. You're gonna meet with me, sir. And we're gonna exchange uh, phone numbers or something. I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen. Long division. Can I leave you with no army? Is that a possibility? It is. Oh, I love it. That's great. I mean, it sucks for you, to be fair, but that's great for me. Uh, to the north of town, there is a mountain pass leading into a new area. Your army should now be strong enough to defeat the creatures guarding that mountain pass. Go and take them out. Yeah, I'll put it on my to-do list. I need to take that actually down. Oh, there's a mountain pass up there. All right, you head back over there. I'm going to get a little bit more over here on the left, and then I will return to you. Remnants from yesterday. Well, I think ore is definitely more valuable right now than the other stuff. Right, what is that? Oh, come on. That's easy. I don't want to... Aw. All right. Oh, we can now throw down this. Eh? Yeah, give me some Arcanists. Oh, they only cost money, too. They don't cost any ore like these guys. Like these goobs, as it were. Ah. So cool. I, I, I'm so happy to play this game. There was some stuff, uh, some rumblings that might be doing more with this game, but turns out that didn't uh, materialize. And that's okay. Uh, enemies are no match for your armies. Could be outcome. Oh god, I should have controlled the battle. That was a mistake. I should not have lost that. Oh, well, I feel like an idiot now. Alright, well, we're going to start with both of these then. Maybe I should have gone the other route first. What is this? Uh, extra movement and morale for the next battle. Alright, well, we're going we're gonna to head back. We're going to take care of this on our way. Let him go over here to the town. And, you know, we can't do that yet. Unlocks four spells. Gives all heroes of zero mana spell, a zero mana spell with extra power. Spell changes to another random one. That's weird. Ah, uh, oh, we don't have that. Okay. Uh, artisans and wizards suspend their aether... Bonuses, the hero does not need to be in town. Okay. I don't know what that means. Cryomancer. This creature is able to fire or protect. Wait, what? Uh, transform. Uh, affects enemies, turning them into random units weaker than the original for the rest of the battle. What? This is my spell book, right? Really weird, really weird thing. I, I don't dislike it. I just don't quite fully understand it. All right, then we can go on some more uh, exploratory stuff with uh, with you, sir. Hopefully, not getting ourselves into trouble with any uh, big bads. All right, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna take this battle, and then we're gonna probably break it all off. To be honest. All right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. looking at the battle. We got some rot walkers. Okay. 
Uh, it's fine, I guess. Let's uh, let's do it. Populate, go! Oh, the little little spider boys uh, got through at the bottom. Again, I, I feel like having this many people, you would just take them down without really any anything going on. We lost three. Eh. We lost one. I guess it's not too bad. I was also kind of hoping that our mages would cast their little, like, ice blobs toward the enemy, and it just didn't really happen. Alright, get some resources each week. Okay, head on over here. Take a look. What's this? By Mercury or the Cape of Winds? Ooh, creature speed. That could be good or bad. Some Goblin Gunners or Titan Gauntlets? Ooh. Uh, ooh. Interesting. Gonna probably go with units, though. I mean... I, I like I likes my units, I'm just saying. Alright, folks, we're gonna end the turn. We're gonna break off the episode here. The next episode, we're gonna continue to go around, play around in the tutorial. I'm sure you guys realize what has inspired this game. It's definitely an interesting, unique take on it. I really like it. So many things look really, really cool. I love the little carts moving around. I like how the battles transpire. I don't quite have a full grasp of how to control stuff a little bit easier or better yet. But, you know, all that stuff will come in time. And, you know, I'm here for it. I'm, like I said, I'm having a blast. Been waiting for this one for a very, very long time. And I am super excited to be able to finally share this with you, showcase it. And, uh, yeah. I may be doing a giveaway on uh, one of the future streams, guys and gals, as I have an extra code provided by the publisher to give away to you guys. So it may be on a on a live stream, or I may just throw it in at the end of a video somewhere. I may uh, post it in the community section of YouTube. I don't know. You guys are going to have to start looking around. Maybe it'll be on Twitter. I don't know. You guys might have to start following me on stuff, showing up to live streams. I control your fate now with this one code that I have. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Thanks for stopping on in. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of that stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video, just like it always is. A big shout out and thank you once again to Goblins Publishing for hooking me up with the code for this and for uh, one for the giveaway. And I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm real happy. I'm real happy. I, I really like what I saw. I like what I'm doing. I think the game was, is fantastic so far. And I can't wait to play more. Uh, subscribe, like, share, you know, the stuff. And uh, until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.